Well, I've earthed these potatoes up a little bit. They're looking really, really fantastic. These, these sweet peppers, these bell peppers are really a good size now. They're a good size. And the, the ones on the other plant are a good size. Ian Weldale's experiment. <laughs> Ian Wilder's experiment is, it's, 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 there's quite stunted the peppers, but the foliage is good. These big leaves are the pumpkins. They've come on whilst I've been away. And May's harvested already lots of tomatoes from, from this, this frame. There's some here, They're lovely, going red and look fantastic. You know, I'm looking forward to taking some of those off the vine and eating them direct. I've uh, I've got my scissors here. I'm going to I'm going to top off now, stop them growing any taller, and uh, cut them down a little bit. Uh, but it, it's it's a warm afternoon. It's a warm afternoon. This grape on this side has uh, has developed some nice foliage whilst I've been away and uh, I don't know what's going on with that on this side the grape is continuing to grow up the string and along the wires so all is good wow it's about three o'clock on Sunday afternoon and trust me I think I'll be asleepy within the hour <laughs> so it's looking good tomorrow I'll get them all out and I'll mow the lawn although already there are some small brown patches appearing because uh, we haven't had the rain although uh, we had a couple of days of rain in Pattaya and even though we were up the hill and, and, uh, and out of the city one area I was worried I was going to get stuck in the in the Honda uh, because it the road was flooded and it was about it must have been 18 inches or 12 to 18 inches deep my word it it don't have bucket it down so oh well 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 the old dog leo's disappeared may said he's not been back for three days i mean he's very very old and he's not been may's looked after him on a daily basis and she thinks she's gone somewhere to die. You know what dogs are like. My, this is lovely compost here. And I'm going to take it out and put it in that container. And then I'm going to sterilise it. Wow, why would you sterilise? Well, I'll tell you why I would sterilise it. Because there are bugs in. These are my potatoes that are growing really beautifully high up. And they need earthing up and this is a week later crop of potatoes that will need earthing up in a couple of days now there's bugs caterpillars whatever in that eat the stalks of potatoes so i need to combat them so i have a plan and this is what i'm going to do stick with me so here's probably five six gallon of compost but whatever it is in litres and I've got this roll of black plastic on the outside and white on the inside and I'm going to take the compost out on there did you already a big bug there another big bug there so there's it spread out so I'm going to cover it up now, look at that big rascal. So there you are. With this, the heat of the sun on that black plastic, whatever's in there is gonna to be toast. So I'm gonna put some blocks on that and weigh it down. And uh, it's Monday afternoon. By Wednesday afternoon, whatever was in there will be gone. 
pretty much sterilized so there you go the job is indeed a good one one hopes well, it's a warm humid Monday afternoon and I was going to get the mower out but I've decided I'm still tired so I've decided that uh, a Dr. Leo is more appropriate now look at this wow my beautiful tomatoes are turning ripe May's already harvested a few in she got them in the fridge already but you shouldn't refrigerate tomatoes you know why? because it neutralizes the flavor that's why tomatoes these days you get from the supermarket are not like you used to get from your granddad's the simple reason is they've been picked they've been chilled all the flavors gone you eat one of these bit of salt eat one of these straight off the vine bath you get that flavor like you used to do when you was a kid now chill them tasteless so there you go everything else is going well i got out of bed this morning just after 10 which is about i'm normally up for six and six sometimes is a lie-in i'm still recovering from my pataya trip taking stephen down there i'm not going again that's it that's me done it's 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 too much it, we, we drove down on wednesday and it was a 12 hour drive down so we got there wednesday night we had wednesday night thursday night friday night drove back saturday that was a 13 hour drive back so you, you've got you got 25 hours of driving over about five days and at my age my god miss jones <laughs> it's too much see you later bye bye for now